Hello and welcome to this section as we experiment in using 3D in Moho Studio. Stick around. Hello and welcome to this episode. It is sure to be educative, entertaining and exciting. And if you watch through to the end, I have a special gift for you. So please stick around. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel or this is your first time, please do subscribe for this is how you support the channel, helping us to keep giving you great, educative, creative and entertaining content. And for today, these are what you will learn. I am sure you are excited already, so let's get it started. All right, so most of you have been wondering whether you can import 3D objects into Moho Studio and Moho Studio have actually advertised this and they've used it in a couple of animations also. But today we'll be experimenting with this ourselves so i had gone online and downloaded a couple of 3d models from google you know how it is and um these are some of the models i was able to you know come up with and this one it's um of a penguin so i think we should experiment with this and see <laughs> yeah and let's see whether moho studio can give us what we are looking for all right so and we hit create and our penguin is in moho studio just like that i had just dragged the object and dropped it in moho studio and the object is in moho studio already just make sure that whatever 3d project or 3d object you are downloading it's a dot obj file those are the kind of files that um, moho studio accepts so you use your rotate layer x and y to to see your 3d um, object so you can rotate it whichever way you want front back side upside down left right and center etc so the most important thing is putting the images um, in their correct form so you go into the 3d layer like this double click on it and you go to materials and here when you come to materials you see default material and you see penguin uh, math so when you click on the penguin math depending on um, the creator of the 3d um, object you will see much more um, materials that you can change you can switch the colors and you can do whatever with it i think while we go forward i will try other 3d objects so but for this one we'll click the penguin math and we'll go to browse objects and um, we'll go and pick the texture of the penguin and click open and hit apply boom and okay and you could see right here our penguin is complete it's no more a low poly type of um, character and the, th the other thing you can do is just really to um, play around with it rotate it around rotate it upside down but you can't really animate the hands or feet or head or whatever it's, it's quite still when you bring your 3d object in moho studio and you want to animate it you would rather animate something like a ball or something that is a little bit still not a, a full character you can't really animate a full character that is just what i'm trying to say and right here you can see we can shift it left and right and we can rotate it every where so this is 3d in moho studio so let's try a different um let's try a different model i think i have a gun here so i'll drag and i'll drop it into moho studio and i'll create that so you can see our gun is here i'll just turn off the penguin for now and you can see our gun is rotating so let's zoom that in a bit all right and um, let's go into the material which is the most important part here and um, you could see we have more materials here than the than that of the penguin so the first we have the fire which is this part that you see here the gun is actually shooting off and um, we have the material too which should be this other um, lengthy uh, line here which is the mat we now have material four if you look at it if you rotate this the material four should be the bullet right here this you see right here yeah this one and um 
material then we have the handgun which is the top of the gun here then we have the handgun here which should be this gun here so if we change the materials of them you could see I think we should just use the penguin because I don't have the gun material so you just see how it works you can go ahead and and create whatever or choose whatever material you want all right then we can go into the handgun itself and um, browse and choose the same material or you could choose this image if you want then you hit open and you apply to that so you could see it applying as it is all right then we now have our material like i said this material here um for the handgun we can you know open that also you could see that material is applied to the bullet here then also for the last one material here you could you know i mean just pick any material um that you want you could see it has applied to the um i don't know what this is but it apply to it then you have your uh, fire so um, the material called fire which is 101 here so if you look below here you could see the ambient diffuse specular you can apply this also to all these other place which we have browse textures if you don't want to use the texture um, you can go ahead and change the colors of all these um, stuff so let's say we make this yellow and um, we also make this yellow and um, we make this yellow all right so if I hit apply so you could see everything is now yellowish all right so you could go ahead and you play around with the materials and see what suits your um, animation but the beauty of this whole thing is how it works beautifully with Moho Studio where you can actually rotate your 3d object in a 360 format and also animate it if it's something that you want to do because we can go ahead here and you know add our keyframes and you know rotate this like this and come over here and rotate it back and you know just creates some simple type of animation and if you play this here you see it just moving and it's animated and you could use this to do whatever you want like um, do a presentation of any sort that you are thinking of and um, this is just basically what you need to know so the first thing you need to know is the 3d object you are bringing into moho studio has to be dot obj i think moho studio 13 is the best to use to um, if you want to do any 3d type of work or animation it will work with 12 but it may have a little bit of issues here and there but I think with 13, it's much more smooth and it, it works perfectly well. So you could see right here a simple animation I created with the penguin. And you could see this. So, you know, it comes to the anvil and stuff like that. So, and Moho Studio also has, it has an inbuilt 3D object that you can actually use for what you want to do. So when you go to file and you go to import and you go to, 3d then you go to props you can see different um, 3d objects that you can use to create whatever thing you um, want to create take for example you have this pus and you you can see your pus going around like this and you can rotate it left right and center and you know you can do whatever you want with the 3d actually is very cool and i it looks very good so this means that you can have a 3d world built for you in moho studio and you have 2d characters playing around or acting out in that scene i think it's something that is really really good maybe in the future i will try something like that out so that you would see it but for now you just get creative and see what you can do with 3d works in moho studio i hope this is interesting for you as it is interesting for me do check out the next video and learn something educative and i will see you inside if you have watched up until this point i want to say congratulations and i hope the video has been educative entertaining and enlightening do drop a comment below if you have any questions special requests or contributions and as promised here is your gift do check out the link in the description below to get it 
Most importantly, subscribe and support the channel and make sure you watch the next video to learn something new and I will see you there.